So I was talking to Kevin Scott, who's the CTO of Microsoft. Mm -hmm. He's a fantastic human. If you ever get the chance to meet him, just a really cool guy. And he was talking to me about all the different great things that they're doing with the intelligent edge. And okay. so I noticed everybody's bringing up the intelligent edge. I can't get away from it. I want to know what you think of it and what, like what, how is it on your radar? Yeah. Um, you know, it's something, it, it's kind of a term we gave to our overall strategy of really upgrading our networks um, so we can build what we call kind of a multi-purpose network. Um, if you look at our history, uh, a lot of our networks were built uh, for each business unit, if you will, right? So uh, the wireless business unit, we built a wireless network that, that optimized that. If you look at the Fios network, there was a whole set of other engineers building networks uh, to optimize our Fios offering. Uh, same thing if you look at our uh, enterprise business, we had other engineers doing that. So, you know, that was fine. Uh, but now the technology has advanced to a point that we can really streamline our networks, make them much simpler, make them flatter, uh, make them easier to operate and really set ourselves up for future technologies. So. Um, why we call it Intelligent Edge, really, in, in our world, it's a lot of different technologies coming together. It's uh, something we call unified transport. So different, uh, different. Um, we have a couple different partners that work with us on the transport piece. Uh, we're working with uh, Cisco and Juniper and others on some really advanced um, uh, routers. Mm -hmm. And um, it all starts with fiber, right? So we're putting a lot of money into fiber. So you take those three things and then you add in 5G and what we call mobile edge compute, uh, which we think is, is going to be a big, a big deal in the, in the coming years. Um, you add that all together and you build a really flexible, um, easy, advanced network that has a lot of intelligence in it and can do really good, uh, we think, really groundbreaking things uh, in the near future. So... You know, it's kind of it's kind of the bedrock of what we're what we're trying to build around here these days.